You might already be getting the sense that to make a cool color image, you're going to need a lot of bits to do it. And looking at a screen full of binary code is hard to keep track of. This is an instance where looking at the binary in hexadecimal is quite useful. Let me set bits per pixel to 12 and then make a single red pixel with all four bits for red turned on. 1, 1, 1, 1. And then 0 is for the green and the blue. This is our old friend, the red pixel. You might remember that the hexadecimal number system has 16 possible digits and that 4 bits has 16 possible configurations. So, a single hex digit can be used to represent a 4-bit chunk. Rather than looking at the raw 12 bits for each pixel, we can switch into hex mode and we can see three hex digits that represent the exact same data. Much easier to look at. Notice that we now have three digits, F, 0, 0, for the first pixel. We know that F is the largest hex digit and represents four bits, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, working in hex, we're still thinking about mixing red, green, and blue light, but only have to set a single character for each. So to turn down the red light, I just pick a hex digit less than F, let's say 7. So, 700 zero, zero is a darker red. If I flip the tool back to show binary, I can see it's all still there. Professional graphics typically use 24 bits per pixel. This too is easy to view in hex and is actually a very common representation you see in web design and in other tools. With 24 bits per pixel, it means 8 bits for each of the red, green, and blue, which means I can set each with two hex digits. In this mode, red would be FF0000, and a teal color would be 00AAAA. A. Of course, with two hex digits, there are 256 different settings for each of the red, green, and blue lights for a total of 16,777,216 different colors. So being able to view and manipulate binary code in hexadecimal is a handy thing to do. Try it out for yourself and make your own colors.